The blood was still being scrubbed up in lower Manhattan when NBC News highlighted the greatest hazard of yesterday's attack, the possibility it could encourage Islamophobia. Quote, Muslim Americans again brace for backlash after New York attack, the headline warned. Left unasked is why exactly they seem to keep bracing for a backlash. Mark Stein is a writer and a columnist, and we are always proud to have him here. Uh, Mark, so was that your first reaction to yesterday's attack? Well, uh, Tucker, 12 years ago after the London tube attacks, uh, the Australian columnist Tim Blair, a commenter uh, at his uh, website, did a note-perfect parody of a Western newspaper headline, and it was uh, British Muslims fear recriminations for tomorrow's train bombing. And I thought that was pretty funny. And I quoted it in my book, and I've quoted it on stages and TV networks and radio studios all over the planet in hopes that people would stop retreating uh, to what is actually uh, not just absurd, but actually grossly offensive. NBC's headline, which actually is more or less exactly the same as that parody headline from 12 yeah. years ago, NBC's headline is, is actually saying we care more about a hypothetical attack on Muslims that never comes. We care more about that than, say, for example, the five dead Argentines being scraped off the pavement in Lower Manhattan. And that is actually uh, a, 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 a narcissistic and decadent intrusion upon the real news story. But doesn't it accurately reflect how they feel? Indeed, so many of the people in their position maneuvering the levers of power in our country feel. I mean, that's real. That's actually their view, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's true. I think you saw it at the uh, at the press conference today. The NYPD are saying, well, well you better not uh, get annoyed with any Muslims because uh, we're going to crack down on that. Uh, you saw it in Governor Cuomo's uh, uh, initial remarks uh, assuring us that this is a lone wolf, nothing to see here. I actually think it's getting worse. I used to joke a few years ago that Allahu Akbar was uh, Arabic for nothing to see here. I think it's actually evolved now. Allahu Akbar is Arabic for nothing can be done. The governor of New York State, the mayor of London, the prime minister of France, all basically tell these people, tell their citizens, you've got to get used to being blown up, run over. If you go to a pop concert, you go to a restaurant, you stroll uh, down the sidewalk, uh, you bicycle down the bike path, a certain number of you aren't going to be coming home again. Tough. Allahu Akbar is Arabic for nothing can be done. So what they're really saying is that feeling virtuous about diversity is more important than your safety. Absolutely. And we know it's rubbish. I mean, I don't know where they're having dinner tonight, but let's say uh, Cuomo and de Blasio, whatever restaurant you're in, if you walked in and yelled Allahu Akbar, they'd dive under the table like everybody else. <laughs> if you were to walk in, if you walked in and yelled, uh, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, they'd say, oh, my God, who let that ghastly evangelical Christian in the door? Have the mate at E, take him out. It's uh, appalling. Uh, they understand the distinction. But they are committed to framing this issue in a way that assures uh, there will never be any strategic clarity about what is going on. Next time I'm in a restaurant with Andrew Cuomo, I can promise you I'm going to scream that exact thing. And when, when yes. arrested, I'm going to blame you. Thank you, Mark Stein. It's a good test. It's the best. Great to see you.